In our last video, we explored how cyrosome and purplesome produce remarkable carotid plaque regression in clinical studies. Today, we're taking the protocol to the next level by aligning it with our body's natural repair rhythm and the specific nutrients that create powerful synergistic effects. So let's start with a fundamental truth that modern medicine often overlooks. Your body operates on a precise biological rhythms that determine when specific repair processes are most active. Research in chronobiology, the study of biological timing, has revealed that vascular repair processes follow distinct pattern. See, between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m., peak interval detoxification processes. Between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m., a highest cortisol and metabolic activation. Between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m., enhanced enzymatic activity and nutrient absorption. And between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m., maximum cellular repair and regeneration. These two windows, the early afternoon enzymatic peak and the evening repair phase, represent your body's prime opportunities for vascular restoration. A 2000 study in the Journal of Circadian Rhythms found that the same nutritional intervention delivered during optimal chronobiological windows produced up to 3.4 times greater tissue repair compared to random timing. Just think about that potentially more than triple the benefits simply by aligning with your body's natural rhythms. So now let's apply this chronobiological understanding to our enzymatic protocol for maximum plaque regression. So the optimized timing protocol, morning 6 a.m. to 7.30 a.m., you can take your cyrosome 15 ml diluted with 8 ounce of water, taken on empty stomach before breakfast. Early afternoon, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., propylzim 15 ml diluted in 8 ounce water, taken 30 minutes before lunch. This aligns with your body's peak enzymatic activity window. Evening, 8 a.m. to 9.30 p.m., cyrosim 45 ml diluted in 8 ounce water, taken two hours after dinner, at least 30 minutes before bed. This targets your body's primary tissue repair window. What we've done is redistributed the total enzymatic load to align with your body's natural rhythms, decreasing morning exposure when detoxification pathways are already active, and increasing evening dosage when cellular repair mechanisms are most receptive. So this simple timing adjustment can actually increase efficacy by approximately 40 to 50 percent according to preliminary clinical observations. Now, for the really exciting part, specific nutrients consumed at precise times can dramatically amplify the effectiveness of biodynamic enzymes. So there are three categories of nutrients that create powerful synergistic effects. One, enzymatic cofactors, nutrients that directly enhance enzymatic function. Two, vascular repair elements, components needed for arterial wall restoration. Three, metabolic optimizers, compounds that improve cellular energy production. So let's break down the specific foods for each chronobiological window. So morning protocol with 15 ml cyrosine, one tablespoon of raw apple cider vinegar and water, that's the enzymatic activator, 500 to 750 milligrams of quercetin rich foods, red onions, apples, or capers, enhances bioavailability. Avoid dairy and sugar, inhibit morning absorption. Early afternoon protocol with 15 ml propylzim, one to two tablespoons extra virgin olive oil enzyme stabilizer, 75 to 100 grams protein from fish, poultry, or animal-based, one cup of dark leafy greens for methylation supporters, potassium-rich foods, avocados, or even coconut water for vascular tone regulators. Evening protocol with 45 ml cyrosine, 400 to 600 milligrams magnesium-rich foods, such as pumpkin seeds or possibly arugula, because they actually give you the enzymatic catalyst. 
small amount, 15 to 20 grams of glycine rich protein, bone broth or collagen for tissue repair substrate. One to two pinches of sea salt and water, electrolyte balancer, and polyphenol rich fruit, berries or cherries, synergistic antioxidants. So these specific nutrients don't just complement the enzymatic action, they actually are fundamentally amplifying it by providing the precise cofactors and substrate needed for optimal function. So for maximum effect, we need to properly prepare your metabolic environment. This involves a simple three-day metabolic reset before beginning the full protocol. So the three-day preparation phase. Day one, reduce carbohydrates to under 75 grams, increase water to three liters. Day two, 12 hour fasting window from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar throughout the day. Day three, 50% normal food intake with emphasis on green vegetables and clean protein. So this brief preparation phase increases phase one and phase two liver detoxification capacity by approximately 30%, creating the optimal environment for enzymatic activity. Don't skip this preparation phase. It's like preparing the soil before planting seeds. It dramatically increases your results from day one of the main protocol. So now let's talk about how to track your progress without expensive medical tests. Four accessible metrics for tracking vascular improvement. So number one, morning pulse wave velocity. Use a quality blood pressure monitor that measures arterial stiffness. Track weekly, same time of day before rising. Look for 7 to 12% improvement within 60 days. Number two, recovery heart rate. After climbing one flight of stairs, measure how quickly heart rate returns to baseline. Record weekly. Normal is two to three minutes, but improved is under 90 seconds. Simple but remarkably accurate indicator of vascular health. Number three, endothelial function test. Simple at home. Thumbnail blanching test. Press thumbnail until white. Release count seconds until color return. Under one second is excellent. One to two seconds is good. Over three seconds indicates endothelial dysfunction. Should improve 15 to 30% within first month. Number four, inflammatory markers. Track subjective measures. Morning facial puffiness, ankle swelling, joint discomfort. Create one to 10 scale for each and document weekly. Most people see 40% plus improvement in these markers within 30 days. So I've created a simple tracking template you can download from the link in the description. Recording these metrics takes less than five minutes weekly but provides invaluable feedback on your progress. So let's put everything together into the complete 90 day protocol so days one to three preparation phase metabolic reset as described earlier gather supplies and establish baseline measurements days four to 30 foundation phase full chronobiological enzymatic protocol synergistic nutrient timing a weekly tracking of all four metrics expect 20 to 30 percent improvement in tracking metrics days 31 to 60 amplification phase Continue core protocol, add two 16-hour fasting periods weekly, dinner to lunch, increase evening cytosine to 60 ml on non-fasting days, expect additional 25 to 35% improvement. Day 61 to 90, maintenance phase, reduce to twice daily protocol, morning and evening, maintain nutrient timing, consider follow-up carotid ultrasound to document plaque regression, transition to long-term maintenance protocol. This complete 90-day approach provides the optimal framework for vascular restoration, building on the proven plaque regression effects we discussed in our previous video. So now for some practical tips to make this protocol manageable in daily life. One, batch preparation. Prepare enzymatic dilution for two, three days at once in labeled containers. Two, travel strategy. Use small travel bottles for enzymes. Continue protocol while traveling. Three, dining out. Take enzymes before leaving for restaurant, 
choose menu items aligned with protocol. Four, supplement storage. Keep enzymes away from direct light and heat. Five, optimal hydration. Drink 16 ounces water 30 minutes before each enzymatic dose. Six, track and automation. Use smartphone reminders for consistent timing. And seven, adaptation period. First week may cause mild detoxification symptoms. These are temporary. And finally, let's discuss how to customize this protocol for a specific situation. For enhanced athletic performance, shift afternoon dose to pre-workout 45 to 60 minutes before. Add three grams of glycine post-workout. Consider 24 hour complete enzyme break once weekly. For significant cardiovascular history, begin with 50% dosing for first 14 days. Extend protocol to 120 days total. Add additional afternoon dose, 10 ml. Consider low dose neurokinase, 100 milligram with evening protocol. For metabolic challenges, extend preparation phase to five days. Emphasize morning apple cider vinegar to two tablespoons. Consider 30% reduction in overall carbohydrate intake. Monitor fasting glucose improvements weekly. So here's a quick question. What are the two most important chronobiological windows for vascular repair? A, morning and noon. B, early afternoon and evening, C, midnight and morning, or D, noon and night. So if you've answered B, early afternoon and evening, you're correct. These represent your body's peak enzymatic activity window and primary tissue repair window, respectively. So there you have it, the complete chronobiological optimization protocol that builds on the plaque regression breakthrough we discussed previously. Remember the three pillars of this approach. Timing is critical, align with your body's natural repair rhythms. Nutrient synergy amplifies results. Specific foods dramatically enhance effects. Three. Consistent tracking on sure progress. Simple metric provide clear feedback. Drop a comment with Chrono if you plan to implement this timing-based approach and let me know which aspects you found most insightful or challenging. In our next video, I'll reveal how specific movement patterns can further enhance this protocol through something called mechanical transduction the process by which physical movement signals activate genetic pathways for vascular repair. Plus, we'll explore the remarkable connection between breath work and arterial elasticity. Early research suggests this combined approach could potentially double the rate of plaque regression. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to join our evidence-based journey toward optimal cardiovascular health through natural approaches. So until next time, this is Maurice thinking chronobiologically and zooming out. Oh, and if you're wondering whether I time my own coffee intake for optimal vascular health, let's just say my coffee cup has specific hour markings for a reason.